pathogens differently from the intracellular pathogens. What did I say? Can you repeat it back to me? You can probably pause at this time and try to repeat it. This is the most important thing. Just like macrophage is a very important dude in the immune system, just like that this is a very important point which we should know. That point is our body will handle a pathogen which is in the interstitium which is extracellular pathogen differently than it would handle a pathogen which is inside the cell. So, you ask why the heck does it matter? It matters. Why it matters is this when a pathogen comes into our body and let us say it decides to live inside the cells. Now, pay attention here this is very important point when it decides to live inside the cell our body's defense systems cannot handle that pathogen inside the cell. It is hiding in a house a cop which is moving around in the street cannot see a criminal hiding in a house right. So, this pathogen which has gone in the cell is not detectable by the other immune mechanisms like innate arm of immune system, dendritic cells, natural killer cells and such other cells. They may not know although natural killer cells have a way to know, but anyways uh, mac macrophages and other cells they may not know that the pathogen is actually sitting inside the cell. So, macrophage comes here and goes around in the tissue and says well there is nothing in the tissue. So, everything is all clear it does not know that all the cells around this are filled with the pathogen. Pathogen is sitting in the cells replicating enjoying having parties. So, how do we handle them? Uh, we have not talked about immunoglobulins the B cells make immunoglobulins which are proteins which go and attack the pathogen as well. These immunoglobulins also only attack the pathogen if that is outside the cells these immunoglobulins cannot go inside the cells and then go and attack the pathogen they can't go in here they just cannot cross the cell membranes to go in there. So, it is natural that immunoglobulins will only attack a pathogen which is outside. So, how do we handle the cells which are harboring the cells which are having the pathogens in them how do we handle those pathogens we do not we unfortunately do not have a way of extracting the pathogens outside the houses from from inside the cells getting them out we do not have a way. We cannot kill these pathogens unless unless we kill this whole cell unless we kill this whole cell. So, this is a very important point two type pathogens choose to live either inside the cell or outside the cell. If these are inside the cell our best way of handling this pathogen is to kill this infected cell to kill this sick cell itself. If a pathogen is outside the cell then our body can do certain things it can have complement system activated it can have immunoglobulins come in it can cause the macrophages and other things to come and phagocytose it dendritic cell can phagocytose that similarly B cells can do it T cells can do it natural killer cells can do it. So, there are many cells which can capture and kill these bacteria. but if the bacteria has already or virus has already gotten into the cell then there is uh, the, the options are less. So, that means if I get infected today let us say I develop a breach here I develop a wound in my skin that causes some bacteria to jump into my tissue uh, my body has one of the two choices to make. These two choices are do I need to attack this pathogen do I need to take care of this pathogen by making some extra cellular proteins or do I need to take care of this pathogen by killing the cells in which it lives. So, body should know where the pathogen is and then body should make the right choice. If now think about it for a second this is such an important point think about it for a second. If a pathogen is sitting inside the cell and body is trying to find it outside the cell and trying to kill it do you think that will be a successful venture 
No, that immune response will fail and it happens our body does make wrong choices sometimes. On the other hand, if a pathogen is living in the extracellular tissue and body starts going and looking inside the cells and saying oh do I have a pathogen inside a cell, do you think that that will be a successful venture? No, that would fail as well. So body has to make a choice and body has to make the right choice and now I have created enough suspense here, who makes that choice? What thing makes that choice? T cells make that choice. How do they make that choice? They make that choice by information coming from macrophages and some unknown cells. At the end of the day, T cells are the one which help us. So let me say it this way. Here is the body's response to a pathogen. This is the response. This response needs to go either into the one direction, let us say direction A and direction A is that B cells will produce immunoglobulins, immunoglobulins. So this is a response which is useful for the extracellular pathogens because immunoglobulins can go and attack the pathogen outside. I told you before immunoglobulins cannot enter a cell and do something. The other response, the response type B is that a, the other response or the response type B is where we would kill a cell which is infected. We will kill a cell which is infected. So give us a few minutes and we will start again. <laughs> 